having a, a great big circle of, of women in, in numbers is as important as having a strong circle who really support you and love you and, and you support each other and you help each other. That's the core group that matters to me. The other ones, you just kind of have to say, well, okay, you know, good luck on your path. I'm still going this way. In the interview series Baumgeschalten, the Business and Professional Women Club Stuttgart introduces women who have an interesting career path. The Stuttgart Club is part of the International Business and Professional Women Network uh, with 30,000 members in 100 countries, which makes us one of the largest network for business women worldwide. We support women in their professional development and uh, encourage them to realize their potentials. The title of this interview series, Frau Frauengestalten, stands for the different characters of women and for what they shape and create. We believe it is important for women to um, be actively involved in politics, business, society and culture. They do things often different than men, but this difference makes it so valuable and creates new ideas for our social life. Today our guest is Janet Hasenau. She is a Canadian singer and songwriter. Welcome Janet. We are happy to have you here today in our interview. Thank you. It's lovely to be here. Guten Tag. <laughs> Guten Tag. <laughs> you performed for the Olympic Athletes of Canada in Salt Lake City in Athens. You were rail artist on the board from Toronto to Vancouver and back. And uh, you were opening the World Acadian Congress in New Brunswick. And you have over 400,000 YouTube views on your song, This Is My Canada. Music seems to be your life. What motivated you to become an artist? Music has been part of my life, all of my life. When I was uh, very young, my very musical Acadian family, I'm actually in Prince Edward Island on the at the moment on the east coast of, of Canada. And there were 14 kids in my mother's family, 13 kids in my dad's family, and they almost all played instruments. So from the time I was a little baby, I was surrounded by music. And I guess it was kind of inevitable that I would grab an instrument and, and start to, to dabble in music myself. So I chose the piano and I chose songwriting. So it's been a, a, a full lifelong passion and turned into a, a dream come true for me, actually. Being a singer and songwriter is not the only thing you're doing. You're, since last year, you're building up your business, Jams Canada. That is your music service. Uh, and with this, with this service, you provide consulting to help musicians to build their music business into a sustainable career. And this brings me up to the question, do you notice that female musicians experience a different situation in their career than male? That's a really good question. Yes, I have been a singer, songwriter, performing and recording artist uh, in Canada for over 30 years now some events that happened recently in my life which uh, made me go a slightly in a slightly different direction with Jams Canada which is simply Jeanette Arsenault Music Services Canada helping other musicians with some of the knowledge and skills and and experience that I gained over the years now as far as being a, a woman in in music I think we're in a more exciting time in the music industry than ever before there certainly was a lot of um bias and a lot of um, challenges, let's say, for female artists who were uh, in the music industry trying to get to the top. And I think a lot of women started doing women festivals and you, you start to see a more gender equality in music, I think, uh, than ever before. I think it still exists, but I think that women have a lot more opportunities now than they ever did. Yeah, that sounds good um, and uh, makes hope for the women in this uh, business. Uh, when you look back on your professional career, 
what was the one thing that brought you to where you are today? I don't know if there was one thing necessarily, uh, perhaps my drive to, to follow my dreams. I was very blessed with strong women role models in my family, my mother's mother in particular, uh, Josephine. Mm -hmm. She was a mentor, but not formally a mentor. She was one of those women, I think we all know a lot of those kind of women who, who led by example, who were strong in, in you know, in what they did. I, I use the expression, you know, bloom where you're planted, whatever that you are doing in life, um, just make the best of it and follow your dreams. So I never thought I couldn't do it. I had this kind of knowledge from when I was young that whatever I set my sights on or uh, my goals, whatever my goals were, I just had to pursue them to the fullest of my ability. And, and that's what I did. Yeah. I think, um, yes, what you're saying is that it helps to have this background, to have this uh, mentoring, to have uh, this spirit yes. within inside, uh, and uh, this leads you to be successful uh, from the inside out, um, as I understand, that's very beautiful. Um, but let uh, me bring in uh, some not so good times maybe, uh, because in a career I think there are usually successes and uh, also more difficult times. What uh, or who helped you in times to, of struggle? I cannot say enough about the value of my women friends around me. Women are a strong support system for each other and lifting each other up and having a sounding board when we need it and having a box of Kleenex when we need it. And I found that various women groups who, who hired me to sing, who, who asked me to perform, who inspired me to write the song Women of the World, for instance, um, it's a self sustaining group of, of support, of encouragement, of inspiration, of moving forward, of holding on to your dreams, of not letting things knock you back. I mean, you will get knocked back and they might have a glass of wine for you when that happens, you know, but uh, it really has been um, a strong part of my career to have, it, have been surrounded by very strong, giving, um, encouraging women. It makes me think a little bit. Uh, it sounds as if you have a very strong women network around you. Uh, we here in Germany often um, have uh, discussed about uh, our network and we also experience situations where women are very uh, hard uh, concurring each other, very hard with each other, not so helpful to each other. Um, do you have completely different uh, experience with helping women around you? That's another good point. There definitely are, you know, competitive, competitive people, women or men. There, there are those around you and it's how you respond and how you rebound, rebound and how you take that energy and, and keep moving forward. And I don't think, well, personally, having a, a great big circle of of women and, and numbers is as important as having a strong circle who really support you and love you and, and you support each other and you help each other. That's the core group that matters to me. The other ones, you just kind of have to say, well, okay, you know, good luck on your path. I'm still going this way. Oh, okay. Yes, at least uh, here in Stuttgart in the Business and Professional Women Club, um, I can say that we are a very good circle of helping each other, uh, of women who uh, encourage and, and support each other. And uh, this uh, feels very good. You have um, uh, been in contact with the Business and Professional Women, not only now with us in this interview, but uh, in uh, 2011, you were performing at the Business and Professional Women International Congress in Helsinki and you performed this wonderful song, Women of the World, which is so powerful and inspiring for women. Um, and uh, we want to know what motivated you to write this song and what, are, and what is the message you want to spread with it? Well, I have a long-standing association with business and professional women. 
in this particular case, for this particular song, the Canadian president of BPW happened to be my neighbor. And she knew that I, you know, sang for women's groups and different songs and all sorts of different actual subject matters and themes. And International Women's Day was coming up. It was in 2006. So she invited me over for a cup of tea and she goes, you know, you really, you're a songwriter. You do a lot of inspirational work to inspire women. You should write something like a, an anthem for women. And so she sat and, and shared the cup of tea and I'm sitting there trying to, taking some notes. And I said, yeah, there are a lot of things, you know, that are common amongst women around the world. And I said, you know, even though the roots of, of uh, prejudice and, and uh, I can't think of the word right now, you know, patronization uh, runs rampant across the world. It's hard to pierce. You still got to shake that tree. Despite how deep those roots are, you shake that tree anyway. And that became one of the key lyrics for the song Women of the World. So it was born in 2006. I sang it for International Women's Day. Again, a, a, a whole series of circumstances. My neighbor who played the song at her outgoing convention happened to play it for Liz Benham, who was running for international president. She heard the song. She ended up playing the song everywhere she went around the world uh, for her conferences. So by the time I was invited to open up the 37th World Congress, 600 women <laughs> from around the world stood up and started to sing the chorus of my song, Hey, Hey, Hey There, Woman. And it was, it was a very exciting time. And because BPW International had four international languages or four languages, so French, English, Spanish, and Italian, I had the song translated in those three other languages and ended up singing the song in all four languages in Helsinki that year. So that's kind of the little background story to my little song that could. <laughs> yes, and I know that uh, your idea is to uh, translate it even in more languages and find singers around the world uh, to perform this song. And maybe we, together with BPW, we will realize this. And uh, let's come back to the specific uh, way women are. Uh, maybe you have experienced it in your life, uh, in your roles as a singer-songwriter and now as a consultant. What would you say? What is the specific you, the women's strength in the way you do things? I think for the, the, the strength that women carry is the ability to work as a group. I really find that, um, you know, again, I kind of work in, in, I call them bubbles. Maybe there's a better word for that. But if you have a core strength of women who support each other and want to lift each other up, and build from that and add to that group, then you can, you can have a pretty powerful entity where everybody wins. And that's the whole um, secret to success. It's got to be win-win for everybody. So if anything, I, I would build a core team of mutually supportive people who want to move the same message or goal forward. That, that's kind of how, how I work now in, in my world. From your experience as a musician, as a woman, as a mother, what advice would you give to women who are thinking about entering in the world of music? Well, the one piece of advice I was given is do it for your passion, not for the fame and the fortune. Um, it can be a very brutal industry, women or men, but women, I still think, have a, a little uh, further to go yet to have complete equity in, in the music business. So you want to do it because I, there were times when I said I was doing it because I can't help it. <laughs> I'm compelled to do it because it, it is something that I just need to share with the world. So if you think that you can just get into it and put out your music and you're going to be famous and, and you know, the, the millions will come to you. I think you'll have a quite a rude awakening quite quickly. So do it because it's your passion. Look for a team of people who have the same goal as you moving forward, who want the same thing as you do success for everybody. 
again, I think that's a formula that works no matter what industry, whether it's music or or politics or retail or, or whatever it is, is to be mutually supportive in a in a core group of people with a with a similar goals. Now I have um, three sentences. I want you to complete these sentences. Um, okay. First, performing music in times of COVID is performing music in times of COVID is probably the most challenging things musicians have ever had to face. It completely devastated a lot of careers here in Canada, probably around the world. So it's been very challenging um, to not be able to perform for so long. It's starting to open up again now. Second question, factors of female success in arts are? Factors of female success are, again, putting together a good team, that all of you mutually are moving towards the same goal and then it's a win-win for everybody. But if you're gonna be a musician who's looking for success in today's music industry, you can't just go looking for a, a record deal like before, that's what everybody aspired to. Well, now there's so many artists looking for record deals and record, de record companies aren't taking um, on new artists anymore. They're taking on established artists. So you almost have to do it all yourself, create your own career, become famous, have a great big following before they'll even look at you. So at the outset for an artist, again, it's putting together a good team. What are your weaknesses? Go and find people who are as passionate in, in their interest and their goals as you are about your music. So you want, you know, a lawyer or a booking agent or a manager or, or a publicist, a team of people who are as passionate about succeeding in their aspect of the, of the industry as you are in your music. Another question, gender equality means for you? Well, to be quite honest, gender equality should be a given. We shouldn't have to fight for it. Shouldn't have to be something we should still be discussing in this day and age. I mean, it's like, to me, a no brainer. I, I, I really don't understand why it's not just automatically there, but it's not. That is the reality. Um, why that is could be another hour discussion onto itself, but it's something we need to keep striving for, screaming for, standing up for, um, and bringing to the forefront and talking about until it becomes a given and everybody automatically has it. How's that? And maybe this is one of the wishes um, that I'm asking for in my last question. If a fairy, yeah. if a fairy granted you three wishes, what would they be? Um, that kindness returns back to humankind. I mean, that's a great big picture scenario. You know, that we can believe that um, people are equal and, and no one's less than another. I mean, that's another fairy wish, I guess, would be that people are treated equally. Um, and thirdly, that... Um, from an internal point of view, maybe people just need to find more inner peace within themselves so that when they go out into the world, that's the that's what comes forth instead of a lot of the vitriol that comes forth. I don't know how deep you want to go in that, but I would seriously would like to see more courtesy and politeness and peace in this world. I think we need it more than ever. Thank you very much for these good wishes for our society and for our world. Thank you for this interview. Thank you also, you and uh, BPW women and, and all women um, around the world who continue to inspire artists and myself to want to just celebrate the strength and the wisdom and the friendship and the support that, that you all bring to our worlds as well so that we can celebrate you in song.